How you going, team? Currently following me, mate Simon. We're going for a hunt. I've got Pace sitting in the back seat where he likes to be. Ho and B in the very back, all collared up, good to go for a hunt. I'm on hands free, so I don't know how stable his phone is. Probably not great. Sorry about the wobbly screen. Guns McHale, my nephew, should be beside me. Well, that's questionable, actually. He uh, said to me at the last minute, oh, I don't want to go hunting. I was like, yeah? He goes, no, I, for reasons I don't know, I don't want to go hunting. I said, that's okay, bro. That's all right. He said, I still want to eat pork, though. I said, that's okay. You have to find another way to contribute. I don't think hunting resonates with him. Out the other day, I was like buzzing first hunt, and he was with us, and he just wasn't firing on all cylinders and you know he's a big strong lad and I was all excited about taking him for a hunt but that was me and he saw it from a different perspective and who knows what that is so uh, you might be going oh Clay must be disappointed nah I'm not disappointed at all everybody's got to find their, their path their truth you should never ever do anything that doesn't resonate with who you are Pace shut up that'll do he on the other hand he's just mental to go hunting he hasn't been hunting for like three months so pace is going mental i'm going to be keeping him on a tight rope so yeah i said to him, that's okay mate um you will have to contribute another way because uh part of his keep was to help me with taking meat out of the bush and uh we'll probably get a cleaning job or something else now because we're all going to pay our way none of my children were really ever big in hunting my daughter was daily to a degree but my son he went along to keep me happy but uh it wasn't really something that uh, was him Bo, shut up! <laughs> he's all got the, he's got the hit suit on. This is Choppy's old suit, eh? Without it, Pace wouldn't survive. He's uh, a kamikaze pilot. I'll stop talking now, we'll see you in the scrub. We're all a bit excited, I'm excited too. Right, we're off the main road now and getting into the hunt zone. And Pace is just about going bananas trying to get out of the truck. I don't know if you can tell under my chin here how swollen I am, like a bloody tennis ball. I've got like a a double chin. I got stung by bees or wasps, I don't know what it was, around my neck a couple of nights ago in the bush and it really fucking hurt. It was bad man, it was painful. And it's still swollen. Kept me awake last night. Still no excuse not to go for a hunt, but I've got some antihistamine on me. Uh, if it gets too swollen because it's been around your throat, if I get any more stings it might you know get really bad. Shut up pace. So uh yeah that was no fun at all probably saw that hunt on the last video anyway well with my three and Simon's three we've got plenty of dog power shut up pace <laughs> he hasn't been pig hunting for ages he's fizzing to go Bloody good to have John on the hill again. John had a hip replacement. How long ago is that, mate? Five months. Five months ago he had a hip replacement. <coughs> now he's back up the hill, Simon's dad. And I've learned a lot more from this bloke than uh, probably anybody else in the area. He's a uh, well seasoned pig hunter who's always had really, really good dogs. Would you rate Dots one of your best dogs you've had so far, mate? Oh, yeah. Would you be up there? So she would be, wouldn't you? No, she's a pretty good dog. I'll keep, my voice, I'll keep my voice down there because we are getting into the actual hunt zone. I've just parked the truck, so I'm going to quiet mode. The dog's just shot up in front of us there. Pink's leading the way. Pink's leading the, pink's leading the way. That's it's, uh, his pup. He's over to the move, boy. He's running at 38 k's an hour. Just dropped down to 19. <laughs> She's cracking my nose. She's a fast dog. This is uh, Simon's pup's got a lot of hope for her. She's keen. B just got sent then. I saw B just get sent then. I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to go. Not back in. No rips. Get a bit of blood around her mouth. What's it smell like? Yeah. Pig or goat? Yeah. Little ones. Little ones. Yeah. Two little ones. Yeah, got Dot and B back in, and B's been running with Dot, Simon's main dog, which is great, really good. He's still out there, is he? Oh yeah. They've <laughs> killed a small one. Get off there, Pace. What are you doing, Pace? <coughs> Pace, get off there. Pace, get out. 
Take him. That'll do. Yeah. Stinking a pig. They must have killed a couple of small ones down the gully. Yeah, yeah, it's a pig, yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, we're worried it might be goat because there are a lot of goats around here and we saw a shitload, but yeah, it's definitely a pig. Dog's got a pig. Straight ahead. Up here? It's got to come down, aren't it? Up here. I don't know how we're going to get up there. The dogs. Still coming down. Still coming down. You see it? Where are you? It's only we one. I just love the road, it's only little. Yeah. Okay, on that corner. Look at Ellie. Good girl, Pink. Good dog. That's going to be messy in a minute. Yep, it's going to get messy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, good dog. I'll tell you, we won. Well, it wasn't a biggie, but it was a piggy. Still a big one to get ready somewhere. My thinking is that's actually five little ones we've got like that in the last three days. We're all sows, you know? Where have they got to? So uh, Simon's gonna give that pig to his uncle because he loves anything that's wild. He's a uh, ex-deer colour. And uh, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat the remainder of the pig we cooked on the rack yesterday because it's in the fridge and it will be delicious. Hanging out in the man cave. The car and I have been jamming all evening. It's midnight. He's gone back to the house truck and I'm sitting here. And do you ever, or have you ever had that feeling where you're so physically exhausted and so tired and you can't keep your eyes open, your body, your muscles are sore, but you feel so good? Like it's a really, I don't know, some sort of chill going on. Like you're chilled right out and you feel really content. And that's how I feel. I mean, I feel absolutely so tired. I can hardly keep my eyes open, but... You know, you know you've done the most you could with your body. And I kind of needed to. Because I was in the supermarket yesterday, and I don't know if you guys are actually experiencing this, or it was just me, but I was walking around the supermarket, and I haven't been going there very often. I've been twice since lockdown, and Mikhail's been three times, which is bugger all for the last five weeks. I was walking around the supermarket, and it just felt so weird. Like, you know, I kind of like felt like I was on another planet. And like everyone else is like a zombie. Everyone's facial expressions had changed and the whole buzz was like just strange, you know? This COVID-19, you know, the last four or five weeks have been really good because I've had Mikhail here and we've been just having so much fun and working, getting things done. It hasn't all been just fun, fun. We've done a lot of work too. We've done some serious hard work, but we've also had a lot of a lot of laughs, a lot of good belly laughs and getting to know each other and so that's been really cool but then when I go into the public and I walk around a supermarket everyone's like sort of freaked out are you guys seeing that out there too or is it just me am I imagining it because it seems like with all the restrictions of social distancing and how we've got to be that makes people that act a bit strange you can't crack the same jokes with people you normally do well, I can't anyway maybe it's me I don't know are you guys feeling that as well I mean it's been nothing else in my lifetime like this it's bizarre it's so bizarre this pandemic is worldwide like 
Here I am in little New Zealand in the South Island with a million people, but the same thing's going on with my friends in Germany, on the absolute other side of the planet, my friends in Ireland, my friends in England, my friends in South Africa. It's all over the bloody the entire world. Like, that's mind-blowing. How's it affecting you guys out there? Because I'm okay, but I could imagine if this went on for like another two or three months, the cracks would start to show, and I reckon I'd go a bit, bit nutty. I reckon I'd start like, I don't know, I'm so grateful I can go hunting and I can go fishing and get out of the house now, because it was all right for the first four or five weeks, but I wouldn't want to go on too long, you know, so. Anyway, I'm staying here at the old farmhouse, and I've been sort of mostly staying on the houseboat and coming back here some nights, mainly to come back and see my car and cook on my feed, but tonight I ate what was left of that pork we had from yesterday, and it was bloody good. Tomorrow, Mikhail's going to do some workout with me, because I'm trying to build up some strength. I lost a lot of strength a year ago when I got quite crook. So we've got these weights that Daniel's dropped off, so we're going to be doing a little bit of strength work, and we're starting off very slowly. We started off a couple of weeks ago. I'm feeling already just in that two weeks that I've... Uh, Got a lot of work to do i'm not very strong i've lost a lot of uh energy muscle mass strength but it's so cool having some young guy that's motivated and more importantly knows how it all works to help me and he's really good at pushing me when i'm uh, sort of um at the point but not pushing me too hard where i do injury to myself because there's a there's a lot of times people start embarking on this journey you get fit or get strong and end up make themselves worse off and years ago I had a guy that was helping me and he did that he caused injury to me so you don't want that and Mikhail's perfect he's got just a balance right I'm going to do my dishes edit this video and go to bed and leave with you I'm sorry it's nothing exciting just a a, uh, a day nothing really amazing but it was my day thanks for joining me be good if you can't be good be careful see you later right dishes don't enjoy dishes Thank <laughs> you.